Today we're making a wild mushroom galette. It is a pretty simple recipe, even for non-bakers. First I'll add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour to a food processor. In this case, I'm adding salt and pepper because this is a savory crostata and I want that flavor to come through. I'm also going to have a little fun with it and add some herbs to the crust. We'll go ahead and give that a few pulses. I'm going to add all of these pieces of butter right in there. I have about half a cup of ice water here. I'm going to add just as much as is needed to bring the dough together. If it comes together like that, you are all set. So let's go ahead and dump this out onto the cutting board, get our dough into a disc, and then we'll chill it for about an hour in the fridge. Now I'll cover it with some plastic wrap. And what will happen in the fridge during that hour is the flour will continue to absorb that moisture. Now let's get started on that wild mushroom filling. We're going to lightly caramelize onions. And to that I'll add a tablespoon of butter and just a little bit of olive oil. Now we'll leave those be while we prepare our mushrooms. We have three types of mushrooms. I have cremini mushrooms. We also have oyster mushrooms. And then we have maitake mushrooms, which are also known as hen of the woods mushrooms. So you want about 20 to 24 ounces of mushrooms here with about a pound of that being the cremini mushrooms. Our onions are exactly where we want them to be. So let's go ahead and add our mushrooms. We're adding what looks like a lot of mushrooms to this pan, but Mushrooms lose a ton of moisture when they cook, so what looks like a lot will end up being just the right amount for our galette. I'll also at this point add some salt and a few cracks of pepper. We'll saute these until the mushrooms have shrunk and released most of their moisture. The mushrooms have a little bit of browning on some of them, so we want to add our final ingredients. I'm going to add four cloves of garlic grated right into the pan. I also want to add some thyme, give that a rough chop. And I'm also going to deglaze the pan with about a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And it'll add just a little bit of that tart sweet flavor that'll round out this filling. Let's put together our galette. Our dough has been resting in the fridge for about an hour. We want to roll it out to a 14 inch circle. I am actually going to go ahead and transfer this to a baking sheet and stick it in the freezer. Now let's finish up our filling. So we have our mushrooms and onions that have cooled here. I also have about a cup of shredded fontina cheese. That's it, our filling is ready, and now it needs to go inside the crust. I'm leaving about one to two inches of a border here, and now we'll fold this over. And I'm just giving a little gentle pinch around the edges here. I'll sprinkle the remaining cheese right on top. I also like to let it kind of go over the crust a little bit. And Final step is to get an egg wash on this crust so that it browns beautifully. Then it'll go into the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. Then we'll take it out and let it rest for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, let me show you how to make chimichurri sauce to go with this recipe. To make chimichurri, you'll need one bunch of cilantro, half a bunch of parsley, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, half a chopped shallot, half a cup of olive oil, and salt, pepper, and a pinch of paprika. The rest is simple. Add all the ingredients except for the olive oil to a food processor. Then, while the motor runs, drizzle in the oil. Depending on how many herbs you added, you may need to add a little more oil and vinegar to get that smooth consistency. Finally, transfer your chimichurri to a jar and keep it in the fridge for five to seven days. Our galette is out of the oven. It has cooled for about 20 minutes and now we're ready to slice into it. The crust has gotten this beautiful golden brown color. It's also nice and flaky, just how we wanted it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful mushroom filling. 
I love that with the galette, it goes all the way to the very edge and then you get that nice fold of crust right on top. You can see we have a nice flaky crust. And we've made that chimichurri sauce. The brightness of the chimichurri sauce, thanks to the acidity of the uh, vinegar, just goes so, so well with this dish. And now, all that's left to do is eat.